Oh, and I'm spreading Catholicism from Vatican. As you can see, work ethic is spreading its way across my land rather than feed the world. Honestly, I I'd take either, but the extra production is quite fun, up to 70 production. How am I going to stop Babylon? We just got to rush planes, I think, haven't we? I think it's because bombers will be able to drop onto the spaceports. They don't have a lot of military. There's no need. They're so advanced. Why would they bother building a military? This is like a utopian land where nobody will touch them because of their crazy tech advantage. But that's, it's almost a smugness, you know? It'll be their downfall. So steam power, then we'll go flight, which is so many techs, and then radio advanced flight. We'll have to have a quick peek and see what we can do. Build a university next to a mountain. That is very doable. Enlightenment, doable. Wonders, national parks, less doable. But look, there's humanism. We'll get enlightenment after that point. Because this is the crazy thing. My tech is pretty good. I'm doing okay. I'm just not keeping up. Still four techs behind. We're, we're doing our absolute best. It's going to look worse because we, we be lined a bit. Look, I'm missing machinery and I'm already going for steam power. What am I making these steam machines from if I don't know what machinery is? Nobody is sure. Don't question it. Just go with it. That's what I say. I haven't been able to do many culture bombs this game, but they're fun when you get to do them. Three of us go from a commercial hub building and steam power means that some, yeah, here we go. Some of my outback stations are now getting the production. Look, the pasture as well has received production from the outback station. It really doesn't make that clear from the description, but it does work and it's wonderful. This is a good use of faith. Isaac Newton instantly builds library and university and universities provide plus two science. Hello! I was just about to start building more universities around my land but now don't even need to. There is just something so satisfying about buying universities. They're so expensive. Printing, astronomy, boosted. I'm coming for you Lincoln. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna tech over you if I can. Actually the end of this is a pretty good. Canberra's got a university. Toowoomba, Ballarat are both getting it and Sydney already has one as well. So that'll be everyone except Hobart the University. God, that'll be quick. Is it an offshore wind farm? Oh, Babylon, now you're just showing off. <laughs> now you're just showing off. Oh, goodness me. They're going for Operation Ivy. What? Oh, no. This, this really is big bad boss Babylon. <laughs> I have a feeling we're not going to be able to do anything here. Uh, the world is round. Amar is there. Buenos Aires is there. Good to know on both. Can I afford to make an alliance with Babylon again? No, I'd go to level two and I really need to think about killing them. Vietnam is going to be very important, especially because you are already at war. So military ally there would be amazing. I can't make an alliance with Lincoln because I'm currently stealing from him. Savia, if I ask for open borders, we, we should be able to get on friendly terms very soon here as well. Hey you! Yes you! Stop that! Whatever you're doing, listen to Ursa. I have exciting news! This year I'm honoured to be a team captain on the 2023 Civ Give. Join Team Ursa on the 15th and 16th of December as we take on fantastic minigames, setting me up for a huge live multiplayer game on Sunday the 17th of December. All to raise money for a fantastic charity, Gamers Outreach. Follow the link on this video to my Tiltify page where you can donate in exchange for fantastic gifts, including a personalised badly drawn picture straight from me to you. It's not in the Louvre, it's in your house. Merry Christmas, wish me luck, and back to the video. If artists are difficult to get, I would always go for archaeological museums. It's just an easier way of getting important infrastructure into your lands. The holy site is finished, look at this now. That is the best one so far, that's a plus six. 16 production holy site. Oh, that's what we call filthy. Filthy, I say. Granada, welcome to the party, friend. Just a little bit of a frozen island out there for you. Never mind. Oh, that looks like settleable land. This way we go. It's on fire, but that's okay. Which continent does it count as? Oh, frustratingly. Look at that. It's actually my continent, even though it's nowhere near me. <laughs> what is this script? Ah, oh, never mind. It means going Hicksock Draconis would have been useless for me, so that's not a bad thing. Now, I've just sacrificed one appeal on my theatre square there, but I wanted a second source of coal. Namely because coal is being bought for a lot, like a lot of gold, and this is very handy for me. We have one, two universities already, so this will be a third, and also plus two science on them. Look at that, on to 300 science per turn by turn 128, that's good. If only we were catching up with the pack, eh? <laughs> If only. Oh, nanotech will help. Yes, we can start stealing now. Come on, we need loads of this. In fact, Canberra, as much as I would love, absolutely love an archaeological museum, we're going to have to go spies. More spies, please. You know, I will probably take, do I want to take French?
one should no no one stop asking Ugh, i'm going to regret this but i just want to be able to attack babylon at any point he's got helicopters mechanized infantry planes he's building operation ivy look there's a lot of stuff going on here that makes me extremely worried you can't think about this stuff too much you just gotta come screaming in uh, i'm just improving all my faith from my city states laventa jerusalem vatican all giving my temples plus two faith now turning 238 faith into about 46 47 science culture and gold not a huge amount but it's it's really helpful especially when i can convert that all into gold and oh there was a library needed in this city as well as a university ah Okay, Newton should have gone there. I've cost myself about 300 silly gold there, but it's all good. Like, I've, I, I can sell all my stuff enough to be able to just manually buy library and then university to 316 now. Did you see that? This temple is worth 10 faith. So that temple is worth two science, culture, and gold just by building it. Oh, Singapore doesn't look like anyone's on this island, you know? Don't think they are anyway. This is my land. It's a new world, an Australia, an, an upside down Australia colony. I mean, Singapore is actively being colonized so it's not like nobody has found it but that's quite fun for me okay the fire is that gonna go out now please please yeah, there you go it's burned itself out that's good up to flight then we're on radio in advanced flight oh this is good this is good canberra does need to get to 16 pop relatively soon however so we're gonna need infrastructure on this one sorry republican legacy you're a really useful card but you know what time it is you know what time it is it's serfdom time and rationalism oh this would be really good this would be 50 percent extra science from my universities and libraries because pretty much every single one of my campuses is plus four or more but we'll wait for a better government for now second spy are we just gonna send them all to america no i would like to send one to babylon now but where in babylon where is there no campuses here babylon hasn't built any campuses <laughs> what's going on i don't know if i like that that's really quite worrying and nobody has any commercial hubs either this is weird all right go to boston what's my new city going to be called brisbane oh i name that fills us all with joy and love maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to turbocharge this city immediately. So, first of all, I'm just gonna go and sell everything that I can. We'll just keep one coal, just so my, you know, nothing weird happens in my buildings. That's enough gold. We can immediately buy Old God Obelisk and the Granary. That just helps with the housing, helps with all of the yields. Now, I'll get in a builder with some faith, and I'm gonna actually trade from here all of my traders. I had three of them stacked up. We'll just send all the trade routes from here and see if we can get rocking. First job is to hook this luxury up that's an improved resource that burnt down so i'll get era score from it already up to two population growth lovely stuff just in case i get vissel bank in it, i want to trade with city states that i am allied to so granada is a good one and then after that point we like vietnam so i'll trade with them as well excellent nice little trading hub this let's buy another builder i mean of course don't forget we still have culture bombs as a thing bam sorry singapore <laughs> i'm not that sorry already up to two population which means i can now start to spam settlers out which i'll do immediately i want to find as many little cities in this area as i can get as many luxuries in especially a bigger island than i thought it might be this is cool we stole nuclear fission nice and i've got ace driver james james what a cool name for a spy actually the best bit about having a cattle in brisbane is that i can now start putting out back stations here and look do you see what i mean about the production it does increase the pastures as well it's so badly worded but it's wonderful. Two horses up there as well. I have noticed those. Oh, 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 and another settler next turn as well. This is going to be a giga city. My new continent of glory. 58 pop, 59 pop, 37 pop, 61 pop, 92 pop. My 63 pop isn't too bad, but the new world, I think we can probably get about 20, 30 population crammed in on this island. Speaking of, Canberra, 15 pop, flight, mercantilism. It's all happening. I'd say write home about it all, but there's too much to write home about. What would you, what would you write about oh it's crazy Colon uh, colonialism i would like to get conservation as quick as i can because once i've got that i can now build woods replant them in my lands and really focus on some high appeal i have things like this campus there are the odd district every now and then that isn't on breathtaking tiles and i would like to just really boost those where i can steal one boost including rocketry if i can just keep boosting the rest of the game this would be really 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 nice there's another settler and look here's another one just keep whipping the settlers out 
out. It's what we need to do. Some tribal village machinery. That's a beast that I have, you know, put off for quite some time. And I'm going to nab, I think, Da Vinci. As much as it would be fun to build some wonders. Do I want the boost? Mm, ah, this is the thing. As soon as Babylon goes for Da Vinci, the next one will probably be taken. So it's going to be quite a high risk going for Filippo. Do I, do I try it? Do I try it? I've only got one industrial zone at the moment, but I will get, you know, more later. We'll risk it. I'll risk it. I want to see if I can pick up the wonder builder. Go on. The AI, one of them. Yes, 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 yes. Let me, let me buy it. Let me buy it. Nobody buy it. I'm watching you. Be nice. Be kind to old Ursa. Ursa's deserved this. No, don't put a huge drought in my land. That's not the definition of be kind to Ursa. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah, there we go. Yay! That's awesome. And we'll pick up this scientist as well. How long is this drought going for? Ten turns? Really? Ugh, oh, that doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> Doesn't seem nice at all. Oh, I realise, ah, oh, there's there's all kinds of things appearing now that could be liberated. I've got to be so much quicker on the ball with this stuff. Only ancient walls, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is good, this is good, this is good. What boosts are we going to get from our great scientist? Siege tactics, metal casting, economics. Oh, that's uh, not too bad, actually. One more city, Rockhampton. Sounds so cool for somewhere that's probably a little bit lame. Okay, let's just give it that little boost it needs. Old God Obelisk and Granary, we've already bought a builder in. Plus three camp. Campus. I mean, it's a not bad campus, but I feel like this tile is better, so we'll just wait. We'll wait for a second. Ready for an amazing culture bomb? Bam! Oh, yeah. That's what you want to see. This pasture also now has five production. <laughs> I love the way the borders extend around as well. Pasture borders will spread into the outback stations. It's wonderful. I mentioned it earlier, but now you can actually see it, and it's all it's, it's, it's so cool. Oh, there's more land down here than I thought. There's more land down there than I thought. Excellent. Well, do I want Brisbane just to have all of this land and I'll go and settle some more down. Yes, let's just spread the love a little bit. Gobastan. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, this new world is amazing. Why did I not go down here before? Let others say what they will, but Australia discovered colonization. Really? As a as a Britishman, <clears throat> I have a lot to say about that, but, but of course, sure. Look at this though. Another pasture with my pantheon and then we take a builder and we put a beautiful outback station around both of these and the yields begin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Already. Already the population on this set of islands is up to almost 10. I've, this, these cities have been around for maybe eight turns maximum. Like, I've cut down stuff that quickly. And I've even got Singapore on side to increase my production from my trade routes even further. Yeah, I haven't quite got here in time. Oh, I need to liberate things. It's turn 140 and I haven't had a single war declaration on me or a single liberation. Yeah, I know Savia did declare war on me earlier, but that didn't count because it was on my ally. It's, ugh, it's all, all technical. But please, come on. Aluminium. Yes. Yes. Where is it? No. Why, why are you not showing me where the aluminium is? I need it. I need as much of it as I can get. I settled on some. There's some in New Orleans. There's only seven on the map that I found so far. That's not good. Vietnam's got some under the mausoleum. There's some under an aqueduct. Oh, Brazil's got loads and Babylon's put some on a wonder as well. Okay, we've only got two sources of alum, or one source of aluminium. That's not good. Let's hope this new continent has a load. That would be handy if it did. Right, we're now next to Gobastan. It's a new city. It's three with new possibilities. Wollongong. These names are made up, I swear. <laughs> They have to be. This is one of the best bits about Australia is just the spam of outback stations everywhere. I mean, look at them. They're just so much fun. <laughs> they really are. That's all of the governors, by the way. And I will put one in my new city as well. Just to make sure everyone's nice and happy. We stole rocketry. We will continue to steal. Ah, now that city got taken by America. And unfortunately, it's made all of their other cities in the area way more stable. But don't worry. We'll have our fun eventually. Pull back for now, Liberation Force. We will liberate sometime. Natural history because I've just finished my archaeological museum but look I actually built a wonder and it's one of the fan favorites that I never ever build. Huey! I have lots of lakes and this is one that should give this city four amenities plus one food and production in each lake tile in my empire. I'm building a lot of shipyards and a lot of lighthouses so this is the sort of thing that actually adds up really nicely. Look at these tiles now. Genuinely worth working. Very very cool wonder. In fact actually this forest may not even be worth it anymore. 
Let's build an aerodrome. I need planes. I need them fast. And I need some diplomatic visibility with Babylon. I need to know what they're working at all times because they haven't done the moon landing yet. They've been distracted with nukes, I think. And probably giant death robots for all I know. We're not going to think about it if we can. <laughs> We're just going to gonna bury our heads and pretend it's not happening. What did I say there that predicting this map would have some extra space? I was just I was looking at where the continents were. It just didn't make sense. I'm glad we found this new world. I'm glad the random map makers of Ursa's brain were somehow correct in this. Natural history is looking good. Serfdom still good. Scripture, natural philosophy, retainers. All of this stuff is very strong. One of the handiest tricks about never researching machinery is that all of my cities can still build scouts and I do still have retainers which is very very handy because it means I can just build a scout in a city have it set there and that's one immunity it's it's lovely it's very tasty indeed voting time I like city center buildings because they're really cheap and everybody always goes for them and I like great admirals because of literally the same reason we'll see if we can force those two votes through doesn't look like we will unfortunately no great admirals ah oh, the game was like Francis Drake no, don't want him in the game. What a bad influence on everyone. And I sort of respect that, I guess. Did I find Mexico City? I did. That's really, really handy. Was I the first meet on them? No, which means I could use a card, but I'd have to get rid of Machiavellianism. And I am getting a lot of science per turn from both of my spies at the moment. So I will hold off. But it's useful to know. Oh, look at these lake crabs. They're big yield crabs. Here is advanced flight. We've also finished the aerodrome the same turn, which I'm very excited about so I think it's worth just getting bombers but I would rather buy them in I think it's cheaper to do that let's instead get myself maybe the hangar get the water park going diplomatic quarter there's a lot of stuff that we could build here actually thinking about it you know what it's the digger units of the next ones I need these are so so powerful 78 strength 88 if they're on a coastal tile and 93 if they're then in neutral or foreign territory they are hugely powerful those combined with planes should be enough. We need to make an invasion of Babylon, but we'll see. 35 texts for me, 38, 41, 45, 52, 76. I've had pretty much the same science as Lincoln this whole game, and I've somehow ended up 17 texts behind them. Oh dear, don't, don't think about it too hard. Let's start building man at arms so that we can just upgrade to our unique units as soon as we can. Oh, there's more space down here than I thought. Unfortunately, though, no aluminium. I'm searching desperately for aluminium, and I haven't found any in the new world. Maybe Brazil. We I mean, I've allied to Brazil, but maybe they're the ones to go and conquer them aggressively. The drought is over. Oh, thank the Lord. I can finally rescue my tea. Another city on the new world, Townsville. Hmm, interesting. I'm kind of focusing around here on harbors. I'm not entirely sure that's the best thing to be going for, but it seems to be working fairly nicely at the moment. All the usual. Old God Obelisk, water mill, granary, buying a builder. It's all lovely. Zanzibar. Oh, you are well protected by America. America, but I like Zanzibar. Basically makes all your cities happy. My alliance with Vietnam has expanded and look at that. There's a huge religious war going on here and we've discovered yet. Yeah, okay, there are Babylonian almost fully upgraded death robots already. Oh dear. Oh dear. Th that's the air defense I think has already been done. Don't think about it, Ursa. Don't think about it. It's... <laughs> It'll be fine. Nuclear fusion is now stolen as is stealth tech. Oh, America, you are providing all, every single one of the useful things that I could ever want. My tech is doing lovely. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any spying upgrades for actual tech stealing, but we don't need those. Seemingly, we don't need those. Mexico City. Okay, this is going to make my zoos, my factories. All of these are now going to work a little bit further away, which is really good to see. One more city. Maitland. You know the drill. All of the buildings. I, again, this isn't needed. I just like my cities to have a good start in life. Oh my lord, my settler is still there. After all this time, <laughs> my settler is still there. Oh, bless it. I I mean, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Oh my lord, Babylon is still at war with Vietnam and now the mammoth devastator is on the way. You may not enjoy that, Vietnam. That's, that's not good for you. Did I already mention this? I'm not sure if I already mentioned this. Look, one, two, three, four canals all finished next turn. Yes, I have 
have been building canals. I saw all of these lakes as well and thought, oh, there's got to be a way. I reckon I can actually bring a boat all the way through each of my cities to this lake. Not, not that I needed to because this lake is connected, of course, but that's pretty impressive. My capital is not connected because I built a campus right over the only canal spot. Actually, no, I could build a Panama in theory. I mean, that would be the absolute most waste of space. I think someone actually built Panama as well. But yeah, that made me smile. I'll get a bit of era score from finishing at least one of the canals. They also increase appeal. So in the rare occasion that I actually do have a district next to them, it helps. Like this campus is a good example. Ta-da! And now that's charming three rather than charming two. So it doesn't help at all, but it could do. Oh no, I can't build Panama here. It must be a slightly weird turn that it doesn't like. Sometimes two tile Panamas are absolutely fine. No, never mind. Still, it was worth checking, wasn't it? It was absolutely worth checking. This city here is a little bit pointless because it has no housing, but I can canal twice across and cut through this continent, which again in itself is totally pointless, but sometimes you have to just go with your gut and it's telling me to build a pointless canal city, so I shall. Also, being able to buy 120 gold scouts for an amenity. Oh, it's so funny. I love it. All my cities are happy. What I'm doing is just starting to go around the map and mark any city that it's currently not held by its original founder. These eventually are going to be liberation targets. If I can liberate any of these, it's 10 turns of double production. Now, I haven't had double production very much at all in this game. In fact, I've had none. It doesn't matter. Late game is where it's all at. Okay, we've got two targets at the very least, but we can artificially create more, I think. Airport is finished. Now our bombers will be double promoted. Excellent. Look at this city. Four sources of pearls and a pasture that I can link up with Brisbane. Oh, I would call that delicious. Someone just built Colosseum. I was just about to build that, literally the last turn. Come on. Oh, the AI does that deliberately. I swear it does it deliberately. Conservation. That means we've got natural and national parks. Natural parks, national parks is all the same thing really, but we can also plant woods, which makes my lands a little bit more appealing. That's good. If we have any districts that aren't crazy high adjacency, now is the time to sort that out. And of course, replaceable parts. Oh, of of course, right, our digger units, oh, they don't count as an upgrade, so I can't upgrade from warrior ah, all the way up to them. I've been building mana arms like a fool. Never mind, we're going to have to just build digger units from scratch. That's okay, we've, we're only doing that in a couple of cities, so I haven't lost a lot. Well, now where do we go? That's a good question. I think it's best if we go civil engineering, no, nationalism for cause. Then we'll go civil engineering after that. We're revving up for war. The, the AI doesn't really know we're going up for war at the moment, but we will be. Oh, that's a plus five campus. I know it's a really, really good Outback Station, that one, but I needed to replace it. It had to be done. Still at this late stage of the game, is there anything better than an Australian pasture bomb? Bam! It's arguable that no, there is not. Actually, you know what? This time Lincoln's telling me enough that he's not, I'm not his government, but look, it's democracy. He's gone for a democracy. That does feel quite American, him preaching about that, so fair enough. I'll let you off this once, Lincoln. This once. But only if you buy my turtles. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rule. Ursa will forgive anything as long as you buy the turtle. Here's my first bomber, by the way. Huzzah! It's not the first air force in the world because, of course, Babylon exists. But look at that. We can absolutely destroy an ironclad. Sure, I can only have two planes at once, but they are very useful. I'm working towards research labs, but I'm wondering if battleships are the way to go first. I think, no, research labs are a good option. We need to be able to secure the sea whilst we're at war. Bombers will help with that. But what I'm going to start to do is Quadrarim spam. I have no nighter, so I can't build frigates, but these can upgrade straight to battleships, and with the half price card, they do it very efficiently. Aid request, we forgot about that last time, didn't we? <laughs> but we'll go in on it again just because. Oh no, it failed. Nobody likes Tamiris. That is a shame. Sanitation, we've stolen the boost to lasers and to nanotech. Yes. Oh, these are good boosts. Good boosts. I mean, I still need quite a few, but we'll keep at it. I think I'd rather gain some sources. I don't want James the Spy to disappear. Appear. You're too good. You're too good, disguise. Yeah, that'll do. A zoo is finished in my capital. Everyone's getting so happy. This is my big problem. When I go to war with Babylon, I cannot touch. I can't even touch their giant death robots. So that is going to be something that's a little bit problematic. Lincoln is now also going to space. We've got to mobilize quickly now. What is it? Turn 155. God, it's so early in the game. I think war by 165 at the very latest. First national park, though. Yay! Four era score and a little bit more 
happiness in this area of the map. The new world, it's so beautiful and full of parks. Oh, tell you what, look, just one outback station around this pasture and that's got six production on it. Steam Vicky, eat your heart out. Oh, America, different governments, minus 66. I don't even know what democracy is. You're telling me off for something that I haven't even unlocked. Sure, if it was something I'd chosen against, like I thought about it and gone, oh, you know what I really fancy? Communism, that's what I really fancy. Then I would understand. No, no, I believe that is mean. Mean, I say. Actually, we have a lot of mechanized inventory. Oh, this is where, this is the problem of Lincoln is because all of these industrial zones will be kicking out these top tier inventory units. And okay, at least I've got one bomber. I think I might have to ident what, invest in at least one fighter. It is a melee unit still, so the fighters will kill them pretty quick, but I might need it. I might need it just to be safe. Three jet fighters for Babylon. Just seeing the level of units they have. They only have 590 military strength. It's about what I have. It's just very, very advanced. They don't have a big army. It's just powered by lasers and death and general understanding of atomic relativity that I, I couldn't hope to get near. My alliance with Vietnam has expired. I would like to keep you as an ally. There's no risk of Vietnam winning right now, but the plus five combat strength and the fact that she's probably going to lose cities to Babylon at some point with a giant death robot running around. I like all this stuff. This is fine. There's chemistry though. Research labs. That's a wonderful addition to any army. Let's now go for refining. I will unfortunately finally have to pick up machinery and castles and printing and siege tactics. Actually, as soon as I've got printing, I'll get plus three combat strength and then I won't be so far behind. Yeah, look at that. I'll be fine. Then we'll declare. Then we'll declare researcher on Pingala. I don't think I really need researcher on Pingala, but it's up to 400 science by turn 158. And how am I doing on science? No longer in last. Two behind Brazil, eight behind Vietnam, 16 behind America, and Babylon still has pretty much the entire tech tree done. Lovely. Here's my first fighter. Can I still see the giant death robot? I can. Nope, this thing still cannot defeat or even survive an attack. Oh no, I'm really hoping that death robot stays away from me. Is that a good military tactic? Just hope that I don't have to fight it? <laughs> Seems to be my entire military doctrine right now is just hide from a death robot. Anything else is just a, I'd consider that to be an incidental victory. Here is the digger. That is a powerful unit. Oh yeah, and some era score. I don't need the era score right now, but oh, I will take a couple of boosts and the knowledge of oil. Let's find out how much I've got combustion. Steel boosted, that's okay. And we've got oil underneath a harbor. Excellent. And just off the shot. Look, my new world has oil. We knew I'd built these cities for some reason. It says minus three, but in fact, it's minus five because of my government building, but that's okay. We'll get a builder in here immediately and we'll culture bomb some cattle and get rid of some marsh. It's what nature intended. Printing. Printing is all I need to go to war with the space power, right? Right. I'm sure. Can we join in with your war? Oh yeah, they're pretty keen for me to join in. It's only a formal war though. Can I declare my own sort of war? No, I'm not even unhappy with them. Not, I haven't even denounced them. Ugh. Lincoln, you could be getting in on this. That's all I'm saying. All right, this is where I just go max regret. I just go absolutely max regret. Give me two gold and I will join in on your side in this war against Babylon. On. Oh dear. Go on, Savia. This is a great idea. You know you want to get involved. Yeah, you do. Look, you see, there's a giant death robot running around. You've got to stop it. They've got 1,800 military strength. Oh, well, that's just lovely. And oh, look, my bomber. My bomber is outnumbered by this ironclad. Oh, there we go. You see, look, it's better. Better already. I just really wanted to remove that unit. I'm glad I did now. Babylon is now at war with the world, apart from Brazil. Brazil. There you go. See, look, can, look you denounced me and you could have had all this fun. Just saying. I know that I was cheeky, but look how many cash deals I had with Babylon for my luxuries. <laughs> I was very much favoring them in trade there for a reason. Luckily for me, Vietnam has, I hope, a glut of aluminium. Oh, she does, but she's valuing it quite highly. Okay, but we can buy it if we want to really ex overextend our fighter and bomber force. Let's just move my fighter over a little bit to see if we can get a little bit of visibility over this area. Okay, it's not really told us a lot. Well, we'll keep Keep an eye on what Babylon's doing now. We can strike if we're careful and sneaky enough. Oh, hang on, is that Lake Disappointment? <gasps> it is Lake Disappointment. That's my favorite. Oh, am I going to spend an obscene amount of faith in order to get a settler to go and settle Lake Disappointment? You better believe I am. It's actually got oil as well. Handy. Babylon has gone to the moon. Oh, no, 
No, Lincoln's declared war on me. Okay, this is both bad and very good. It's very, very bad because they have mechanized infantry everywhere and I have just gone to war with Babylon. Already they are steaming through this city-state and they are going to be absolutely on my case very, very quickly. The good thing is that counts as a war declared on me. For the next 10 turns, I have double production. Oh yes, Australia has become a citadel of civilization. Ignore the fact that we declared war on everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. Why would you do such a thing? Why? I need more luxuries. People, forgive me luxuries. Okay, we can actually maintain happiness in every city, even whilst at war. That's not bad. However, I think I'm going to need my fighter to actually redeploy in this city to then strike out against these American troops. Um, this bomber. Yeah, you're gonna have to get quite active. I've got some battleships I could attack, or I could start just gunning into the units. Let's level up by gunning into the units as much as we can. This is like a war before the war. Uh, an interlude. Oh, the American Navy is everywhere. There are battleships and I might lose some of my new cities if I don't get to steel quickly here. I need steel as fast as I can in order to pop the walls up. Once I've got steel, I'll feel a little bit more secure. My home cities are safe, but my new world, this isn't necessarily brilliant. Now, has Babylon gone straight to the next project? No. Hoping the war just slows them down. I, you know, I don't need to beat them here. I just need to delay them enough. Oh, I have a lot of production all of a sudden. <laughs> There's a huge amount of production. Well, you know what I could do? This is a master spy. I could, in theory, now listening post into America for six extra combat strength. Oh, that would be quite handy. That would be quite handy. Oh, they've got their finest hour on. They are actually using cards properly. That's the democracy card that gives five combat strength if they're attacking in or next to their territory. That's amazing. All right, fine. Listening post it is. That's actually going to be quite handy. Now I've got plus six intel on them. Good. Uh, not that it helps me right now. My What I have of the Navy is still made of wooden boats and needs to run. I'm a couple of texts before, really, I needed to go to war here. Actually, these new cities are going to be in trouble quite quickly, aren't they? Oh no. What just happened? Oh my lord. Who was that? Who was that? That was Babylon. Babylon just deployed a thermonuclear warhead. I think on Vietnam? Although they ended up killing their own encampment to do it. The <laughs> maniacs. It's turn 161 and Babylon has already declared. Oh my god, they've deployed a weapon of mass destruction. This is mad. Babylon, what are you doing? And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Diebel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, thank you everyone for your support, see you all in the next video, goodbye!